everybody. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. BH20E for electric. Everybody knows the model numbers and all that. So it's BH20 body style uh, E for electric. They got a big lithium ion battery in them. Charging ports already inside. Chargers already inside. Everything's already uh, integrated in the machine. The only reason I went and tried these dang things is because a guy told me that a JCB electric is $80,000. Uh, I thought that was ridiculous. Went and asked a lot of questions on how much it would cost uh, we still end up at 20 but compared to 80 you could buy two throw two away uh and still be at the same price point so you know i'm obviously i'm being a little facetious, facetious there i don't think that you're gonna throw any away but the lithium ion battery has the same run time as that jcb uh six to eight hours charge times about the same eight to ten hours so overnight uh, it's got the screen on it to show you where you're at. It has the dial to control your power ratio. Like anything electric with electric motors, it's very fast. It's very efficient, uh, very quiet, no fumes, no sound. Uh, so those of you that are working in a very low decibel area in a neighborhood, in a basement, uh, anything enclosed that you can't have any kind of, instead of having the exhaust pipe that runs out the door and you've got to move that with your machine and move that with your machine, you can go to electric for a little bit more money. They are more than a diesel. Uh, that battery is like an insane amount of money. I think it was like 11 or 12 grand for the battery alone. Uh, well, that was everything. The battery, the charger, the electric motors. But either way, uh, we're going to get you a quick video. L try to listen to it. Uh, also, keeping in mind, they're very responsive. So you don't have to crank the dial on it if you're not digging. So if you're, if you're just, when I say not digging, not digging hard dirt. You know, if you're just doing... Uh, soft soil, sand soil, uh, light topsoil mix. You don't got to crank this thing. Electric motors are very responsive. If you haven't watched uh, Heavy D's video with the Cyber Truck versus the Dodge Ram 5500, big Dodge guy here because of the Cummins engine. I don't care about the body really, uh, but the Cummins engine with the torque. So that Cyber Truck, yes, it chews up a bunch of battery towing, but it beats that 5500 by a lot. And again, I am a Cummins fan. The cyber truck beats it same idea because of the instant torque output of an electric motor the bottom end power of an electric motor there's no naturally aspirated engine or fire whatever that is going to compete with it so that's that's your rundown i'm going to do a quick drive around with it again try to listen to it the, not, the other nice thing about them is the blade is mounted up here so instead of being on uh four sticks like a bh20 is uh, we did put everything on a servo out uh, lockout. So once this uh, once this goes down, everything is live. Once this is up, everything is dead, including the drive sticks. So we we just turn the key to on, and once we turn that key to on, the machine comes alive. If I crank this thing, if I crank it, it's going to be very very responsive. But right there is about a half throttle. And as you can see, it's it's fluid. I mean, the other thing is we're talking. We're not yelling. We're not hollering. We are talking. Like, you can sit here and say, hey, yeah, take that and move it over. I'll transit that spot I just dug. Okay, I need another half an inch. Okay, transit it again. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, now we're on the transit. You're not sitting here screaming. You're not trying to you know, communicate to your people that are working in a dish in front of you. They're very fluid. Now, again, if I crank it up and I go to run a function, like you know, left turn, right turn, it's pretty responsive. But as far as digging power, it's got more digging power than a diesel because it's got an electric motor. So if I take this, I'll drag myself. Like it, whatever the breakout force is, is what the weight of the machine is. If I take this and I dig that sucker, I have full buckets. I mean, it's just, it's not gonna have a power issue. I know that's a lot of concern with an electric. It's not gonna have a power issue. Electric motors are absolutely gonna be as powerful as anything in a diesel or a gas that you're gonna run. And uh, I mean, fluidness and just, feathering your functions is going to be harder than anything. So I have it up right now. It, I mean, I would normally not have it up as high. And 
we would just track that in. Now I'm going to back it up here to you guys. That way I can show you the back of this thing, just so you have an idea that everything is right there and together. So again, now it's uh, that arm is up, the lockout, nothing's going to move. My blade's not going to move. My joysticks aren't going to move. And then you pop the gate here. And then here's your breaker. So when this is up, uh, you charge it when it's out of uh, on position. So down is on position. Right here is the charger uh, and the inverter. And then right there is the plug. You just plug her on in, plug it into a wall outlet, and let it charge overnight. So put it, I mean, if you're working out in the woods and you're running off a generator, put the generator on it, whatever you're doing. Uh, if you guys have any questions, give us a call at 570-837-1003 or 570-837-1016. We appreciate you guys watching. Uh, again, uh, JCB, from what I'm told, runs around 80,000. This unit runs at 20. So 19.9 is the price of, on the BH20E. Again, hydraulic thumb, diverters on the boom, inverter and charger included, not sold separate. That's weird stuff. Why would you sell any electric machines that you have to charge the, the inverter or the charger separate? Again, that's what I hear. Uh, so everything comes as you see it pictured for 19.9. No emissions, no smell, no decibel, nothing to worry about as far as any of the guidelines and working in basements or enclosed areas. So it's kind of really neat for that. Uh, if you guys are interested, again, give us a call. We're happy to answer any further questions. I'm not gonna claim to be an expert on electric. Uh, I'm learning some of this stuff as I go. The plant's been very helpful to us. And obviously there's other ones out there. So we'll give you guys, uh, we'll give you guys all the information as we get it. And we appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. And we appreciate your business. We'll see you guys later.